So James, we have a fresh piece of paper here, and a folded piece of paper here, and a an assembled piece of paper here. How did all of this come to be? So we're using a tool called a laser cutter to uh, engrave and raster onto paper, and um, we're also using the same tool to cut through and score into the paper. And that allows us to fold up, assemble, and create this really awesome looking 3D pop-up house. So our file is actually already loaded onto the machine. Um, right here on the display, uh, it says 3D Cottage. So I'm gonna close the lid and turn on the machine by pressing go. And so it instantly starts engraving our design right onto the paper. So this process is called rastering, and it's uh, burning and removing uh, bits of paper to create that graph. So similar to how an inkjet printer works, um, we're using sort of pixelated bitmap images to raster. And uh, it's doing two passes. And so with the laser cutter, we can adjust power uh, to control how powerful that burn is. By doing two passes, it allows us to create two different um, contrasts, two different um, etchings uh, that create a contrast. Um, and it allows us to make a more interesting pattern. That are right in the same file, so they all line up perfectly. Exactly. No registration involved. Just um, it's all built into the same job. Okay. And then after it finishes doing this raster, then what does it do? So then it goes into a mode called vector, uh, vector mode, where it's following stroke outline paths, and it's going to move a lot faster. Um, and so it's going to kind of score the paper uh, with our design, and then it's going to start cutting out uh, our shape, our, our sort of master template shape. That allows There's us the outline right there. Yep. That's the outline shape cutting out. It's cutting all the way through the paper so that we can just lift it right out. And you can see that the, the paper is actually released. It's released, and you can through. actually see the fan is actually kind of lifting up the paper. Yep. Okay. So once we're done, it's safe just to lift it up, and we can right. inspect our, inspect what we've done. So what we have here is, this is the one that's freshly cut. This is the one that was cut earlier and folded, and this one is assembled. Exactly. Okay. And let's go take a look at the file. So here you see the graphic that allowed us to do all of this. Okay. Um, and so it's used, we use just a simple uh, design program, CorelDRAW, and um, we lay out our shapes and patterns and okay. if we... So the, there's a little bit of gray in here and then the black, right? Those are the two ra raster colors, correct? Right. So that allows us to map different power and speed settings to the two different uh, uh, raster passes, um, creating that contrast. Um, the red and blue lines allow us to define um, one as a score as a lighter vector pass. And so the blue was the score. And then the red, which is actually cutting through all the way. Okay. And those are just, there are different power and speed settings associated with each of these four. Exactly. Colors. So that's all done uh, in a separate window um, under the print preferences. Um, but everything is laid out and um, done all as one file. And we print the whole file as one thing. All right. Well, thank you very much, James, and this is pretty neat. Looking at the laser cutter and the design file used to make a little house.